But we desire to sit you like wheat. Amen. That's what Jesus told Peter. He said, the devil desires to save you like wheat. And Jesus said, I pray for you that your faith will not fail. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Jesus said, I pray for you, Peter, that your faith will not fail. For the Bible said, the trial of our faith is more precious than gold, than, than silver. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And when we see that our faith will not fail, we mean in the keeping of God's word. Amen, somebody. For the Bible said, in the keeping of God's word, there are great rewards. Amen, somebody. That the Bible said, in the keeping of God's word, there are great rewards. Your faith, amen, somebody. Your faith, amen, allows you to keep the word of God. Tell the name is that your faith allows you to keep the word of God. Jesus said, Why call it me Lord and you keep not my sayings? Tell the name is that Jesus said, Why are you calling me Lord? Amen, somebody. And you keep not my sayings. Tell the name is that if you are prepared to call Jesus your Lord, if you are prepared to make him your Lord, you got to keep the sayings of Christ. You got to keep the sayings of God. If you don't Keep the shame that devil will set you like weeks. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. And they say the devil is desire. Yeah. It's like his desire towards Peter for your life, for your home, for your family, for your children. And his desire is to set you like wheat. But we have a high priest that is touched by the feelings of our infirmities as we read about him. Amen, somebody. In our last night Bible study, amen, somebody. And we learned who he was as our high priest. Amen, somebody. At the right hand of the Father. And he's continuously making intercession on your behalf. Amen, somebody. He's continually talking to the Father about your life. He's talking to him about your situation. He's talking to him about your problem. He's talking to him about your illness. Amen, somebody. But it has required of you. Didn't they leave us? It is required of you that you, you be found faithful. Amen, somebody. If you are not found faithful in the keeping of the laws of Jesus Christ. The Father, the Father cannot go against himself. Because the Bible said he exalted his word higher than himself. You, if you want healing and you're not keeping the word, you are hindering your healing. If you want a financial breakthrough and you're keeping his word, you are hindering your breakthrough. Amen. If you are being attacked by witchcraft and by sorcery and you're not keeping the word, you are hindering the move of God. If there's ancestral spirits, ancestral curse in your life and you're not keeping the word, you are hindering the move of God, the Bible said, quench not this move, neither grieve your spirit. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, say, you gotta keep the word. You gotta keep the word. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, you gotta keep the word. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. The job of Peter was to feed the sheep the word of life. But he could not feed the sheep until he was fully converted. Come on somebody. Amen. He could not feed the sheep until he was fully converted. You cannot receive the promises of God. Amen. Until you have been fully converted. You're going to eat the whole scroll. Tell me say you're going to eat the whole scroll. Tell me say you're going to eat the whole scroll. You want problems in your marriage fix? Eat the whole scroll. Amen somebody. Amen somebody. You want all of God's promises. The Bible says whatever I put my hands to do it's going to prosper. And you've been putting your hand and it's not prospering. It's because you I'm not in the whole school. Jesus said, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. Faith is written of me. Amen, somebody. You've got to receive all of God's word. Let the neighbor say, Eat the whole school. Eat the whole school. Eat the whole school. Eat all of it. Eat all of it. Eat all of it. Eat all of God's word. Amen, somebody. Put your hands together for the Lord. Devil. 
He desires to sift you like rain. But Jesus, and I have prayed for you. I have prayed for you that your faith, that your faith, that your faith would not fail you. Jesus said, when I come, will I find faith on the earth? Third your neighbor said, Jesus said, when I come, will I find faith on the earth? Will I find faith on the earth. Amen. Amen. Now Jesus knows when he comes, he will find religion. Amen. He will find denomination. Amen. He will find, amen, somebody. People claiming to be Christians left, right, front, and center. Amen. He will find mega churches. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. But what he wants to find is a church that is not spot and without a wrinkle. Come on, somebody. When Jesus speaks about faith, he's speaking about a people that is willing to lay down their life for the gospel. A people that have been seeking him. A people that have not given up. A people that will not back down. Come on, somebody. A people that is hungering and thirsting after righteousness. When the Bible says, Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. A people that is looking up to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of their faith. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. That is the faith you're speaking about. Paul, amen. He said, when I came unto you, I came to write about the common salvation. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. He said that it was needful for me to write unto you, amen, somebody, that you should contend for the faith which was once given unto us. We are living in a time when we got to contend for the faith, amen, somebody. When the truth is not being preached, when the truth is not being lived, amen. In the house of God cannot save you unless you are willing to submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. When the Bible says submit yourself under the mighty hand of God, in due time he will lift you up. If God has called you and you're not doing what God has called you, you are a sinner. For the blood of the people shall be upon your hands that you are called to preach and minister to. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I want you to understand what is faith. Amen, somebody. Amen. For the Bible that to whom much is given, much is required. Amen. And whatever God has required of you that you are not doing, that is sin. That which is not of faith is sin. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. When you begin to do what God has called you to, you are walking in the covenant that God has called you to. You are walking in the anointing that God has called you to. You are walking in the covering that God has called you to. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking? Sir? I want to enlighten you. I want to open your understanding. Jesus said, Woman, well, the man who put his hand to the plow and put it back is better in time. A millstone around his neck and cast himself into the sea and drown. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? I want you to understand. I want you to understand. Amen, somebody. You're engaged with the Lord. You're covenant with the Lord. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. For you will be judged by what you know, by what you are supposed to do, by what you have not been doing, and by what you are doing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody get quiet tonight. Glory. 
You see, we live in a time that people want a preacher that will compromise with God's word. That will comfort them and tell them they're going to be all right. Now, but look at them when they keep getting sick, possessed, and oppressed, and tell them, don't worry, God will deliver you. Amen. And they're not telling them why they keep getting sick, and oppressed, and bound, and they're dying. Because they're not keeping God's law. They're not keeping God's word. They're not doing what God has called them to do. They're like the sky in a farm. They say, well, I pay my tithe, and I fast two week. Amen, somebody. But Jesus told them, he said, even though you pay your tithes of mint, he said, because your tithes were small. Amen, somebody. And he said, even though you fast two days a week and you beat your chest and pray hard and walk to the street, he said, but your inside is rotting. Amen, somebody. He said, you make clean the outside of the potter. You make your appearance look good, but the inside is rotting. It's like a nasty sepulchre. Amen, somebody. It's like dead man bones. It is not changing. It is not being transformed. Hallelujah. I'm not living for revival. Amen. Revival only comes when you begin to live for revival. Amen. To live for revival means God bringing you back to your original state. Amen. If you have not come back to your original state, revival cannot come. Your original state is in the image and likeness of God. Amen. Revival, true revival is when there is a people that begin to stand upon God's word. They're not just praying and fasting, but they are standing upon God's word. When they mean standing upon God's word, they're not compromising with God's word. They're not lenient with God's word. They are compromising with God's people. They are like Moses who is on the Lord's side. Come over. Come on, somebody. God is still speaking that message. Who is on the Lord's side? Take the name and say, who is on the Lord's side? Come over. Amen, somebody. Because God is above. The blood is, it is crying out. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. I said the blood of the innocent is crying out, like Abel's blood was crying out. Amen. The blood speaks. Amen. Tell the the blood speaks. Amen. The Bible says, but the life is in the blood. Abel's blood cried out because he was murdered by his brother Cain. Come on, somebody. In the book of Genesis chapter 6, the Bible said, and God saw the wickedness of man. Amen, somebody. Amen. And the violence upon the earth, and every evil thing, and, and men were drinking, and, and being married, and forsake the laws of God, and the commandments of God, and the Bible said, and the blood of the innocent. In Genesis, begin to cry out. Amen, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah! I want you to understand. Then you may say, "Your blood speaks to God. Your blood speaks. Your blood can speak. That's the law of the blood. The blood of Jesus still speaks today. Your blood also speaks. There is the sin of the body, and there's the sin of the spirit. Every sin you have committed with the body speaks. Amen. Hallelujah. I asked a question of a Bible study last night. I asked them, Amen, somebody. One question. Does the blood of Jesus make you born again? Those who are not in the Bible said you'll answer. Amen. If you if those that believe you are born again to the blood of Jesus in your hands. Come on. Do you do not believe that you were born again to the blood of Jesus? Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I feel some of you was doing their Bible study last night. Have <laughs> we had over 8,000 views? 
Come on. No, you are not born again to the blood of Jesus. You have access to be born again to the blood. So Jesus said you are only born again by the Spirit and the Word of God. Jesus is not looking for those who have access. He is looking for those who are born again. We are the, the Christian church today is living by, amen, by only believing in the access. Amen, somebody. When they need something, they come to the blood. When they are a demon spirit are attacking them, they come to the blood. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? But their life is not born again. They're not born of the spirit. They're not born of the world. They don't have a, a relationship with Christ. They are living for God. They are living for themselves. They are living for vanity. They are living for things. And they are living for the eternal life that Jesus came to bring. And uh, they think that they have time to do it. Time is not yours. The scripture says it's a point that the man wants to die and after that will come the judgment. You are fine when God can be called at any time. Amen, somebody. If you want to wait, every time you go to a graveyard, every time you go to a funeral, people wake up, especially somebody that you know and you begin to check yourself. Amen, somebody. That time you realize I've got to get it right. I've got to make it right with God. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. If a loved one dies in your family, I've got, to, I've got to make sure I make it. Come on, somebody. If you know a friend who died, I've got to make sure I make it. Come on, somebody. But after a week pass, that fear of death leaves you. Because that is the deception of Satan. He wants you to live for what you can see. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. But he do not want you to live for eternal life. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And even though we are living for what we can see, we are toying a night and day for it. And we cannot have it. Come on, somebody. Things that we fight and devour. And we amen somebody, we fast and we pray and we have not. Amen somebody. We can always come wars and rumors. Come and not on the lust of your own members. Wars in your family. Husband and wife warring. Children and parents warring. Relatives warring. Family members warring. Neighbors warring. And then the lust of their own flesh. Amen somebody. And the world is supposed to be fighting. The war you are fighting, you cannot win. Amen. Because the war you are fighting is instead of the lust and that is of your own self, of your own members. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, but when you learn, amen, somebody. People look at people. Amen, somebody. There are Christians that are living the life. This is a strong Christian. Amen, somebody. Listen to me. There is no strong man or woman against the flesh. Come on, somebody. Amen. Every adultery, fornication, strife, envy. Amen. Foolish, jesting, foolish, plain, vain, babbling, well, every witchcraft, sorcery. The difference between uh, believers is one and half faith and one does not. Come on, somebody. One trusts in God more than the other. One recognizes that they are nothing with God. One recognizes they can't do nothing without Him. One recognizes that they only become a conqueror when they can put their trust in Jesus Christ. I am more than a conqueror. Amen, somebody. To Christ who gives me strength. And when they recognize that power, when they understand that mystery, when they come to that reality, they receive strength beyond Between one who God is using and one who God is not using. Between one who is in sin and one who is not in sin. One has proved to trust in God. One has chosen to depend upon God. The Bible says, For to be carnally minded is death. 
And where there is a carnal mind, there is pride, there is division, there is envy, there is depression, there is anxiety, there is fear, there is doubt, there is unbelief. It lives within you, it abides within you. Amen, somebody. Amen. You cannot resist it. Come on, somebody. You cannot resist your feelings, your emotions, your urges, your frustration. You cannot, you cannot go battle against it. Amen, somebody. Because you do not know how to hold your peace and let God fight for you. But the Bible said that the spiritual mind is life and peace. No, the spiritual mind still has battles, still has struggles, still have cares upon the earth. But the spiritual mind does not lead to the left, does not lead, amen, to the right, does not lead to his own understanding. But acknowledge his God and God directs your path, amen, somebody. But faith must awaken in me, the spirit of faith. And the spirit of faith awaken in me. Amen, somebody. The covenant of the call begins to manifest. The anointing of the covenant is sent. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? So the strippers and many are called, but few suicide. Many God has called, but few are chosen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So there's a many God has called, but few are chosen. Then if you say if you are here, you have been called. But are you chosen? But are you chosen? Are you chosen? Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Tell the neighbor and said, you are called. Oh. Have you been chosen? Many are called, but few are chosen. Even with miracles, you've got to be chosen. With deliverance, you've got to be chosen. Jesus chose those that he would heal and those he wouldn't heal. Jesus chose those who dead would be raised and those who dead wouldn't be raised. When Jesus went to Lazarus tomb, there were many others dead in that place, but he called a name. Tell the name, is God calling your name? Is he calling your name? Is your name registered in heaven? Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Come on, somebody. And can God recognize your voice when you pray? Come on, somebody. Jesus said in the last day, they will come and say, Lord, have I not done this in your name? Have I not done this in your name? Amen, somebody. But he will say, depart from me. He work us of iniquity. What is the work of iniquity? Those who know the truth and the laws of God and have not kept it but abide in their own ways. Come on somebody. We live in a time where believers want to be comfortable but no revival, no deliverance comes with it. It's comfortable. Believers, revival, deliverance, miracles, testimonies come when it is battle, when it is Am I 
of righteousness. Am I speaking this up? Hallelujah. And he will say, depart from me. He woke us of iniquity. I know you not. If I decide not to do what God has called me to do, then that is sin. Amen. Because every soul, amen somebody, amen. and I'm preaching here to tonight, amen somebody, amen. would not be able to hear the message tonight. Everyone God has used me to bring the deliverance to would not have been delivered. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And then that blood will be fired upon my hands. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I choose not to live for myself, but to live for God. Amen. And the Bible said in that Christ died for us, then we should henceforth not live unto ourselves, but we shall live unto Him. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Many of us can't answer our call because we have been living for ourselves. That's right. We have been living for the cares of this life. Amen. And we have not been living unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So we are stuck in a place in our lives. We are stuck walking in circles. We are stuck repeating the same trials and tribulations. Come on somebody. We have lost our first love. Our spiritual life has dried up. Our love for God has died. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. There are other things that excite us. Come on, somebody. Come on. Prayer meeting does not excite God's people. Come on, somebody. A Bible study does not excite God's people. Come on, somebody. Come on. Going to the open ears and crusade does not excite God's people. If you say there's a night of financial anointing, God people get excited. If you say there's a nightmare of what a prophecy is coming to you, you get excited because it's about you. I'm here to open your understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. If the boss tells you a promotion is coming to you, that gets you excited. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You never say what is motivating you. Come on, somebody. Some of us are motivated by money. Come on, somebody. We are uh, we are motivated by jobs. Come on, somebody. We are motivated. Amen. For instance, we are in the rainy season. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? In that rain, we hit our jobs. In that rain, we still walk in. But they gonna stand up under the house of God and look at the weather and say it's a good time to rest and relax. <laughs> God is looking at your motivation. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 The rain doesn't cause bad to get close. A matter of fact, come on somebody. Come on. I know people drinking every day. Come on somebody. And the rain give them an excuse to drink a little more. Come on. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Come on. 
So we have our faith back to front. Come on, somebody. Let me see that rain. We tell us to get excited for God a little more. Because we have our Holy Ghost fire. We think there's some Holy Ghost on fire. Telling me to go on. Come on, somebody. The Holy Ghost on fire. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. You have a little bit you going through rain from that storm like this. Come on, somebody. Come on. The guy in C. Driving a car or stop and wipe the soap. It's still going. And when and the Lord asks you, love is down me. Yes, Lord. You know I love you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. What, what gets you excited? What gets you motivated? And we expect every promise to come from God. And we don't get the promise, we get the scholars. Not knowing that we, are, our, we ourselves are hindering God from moving for us. We are stopping the power of God from reaching us. We are stopping the blessing of God from reaching us. We are stopping, amen somebody, amen the hand of God from delivering us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Come on. Come on. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. There are many of you fighting for your marriage, fighting for your husband, fighting for your wife, but not fighting for your salvation. Your eye blue black and you're still not fighting for God. You have a man who gambling and drinking all your money and you're still taking all that. But the one person not playing in the house and call your backside. Boom! Jesus said, I love you. Yes, I love you. <laughs> Then the name of the devil desires. They meant the safety that we face. But Jesus prayed that your faith will not fail. Come on, someone. Come on, someone. Come on, someone. Come on. Someone. Come on. I want you to know that the devil have access to and take the presence of God. Amen. The Bible says that they, the sons of God, appeared before God and Satan was in the midst. He's always there. Come on, somebody. But you want to know where God has assigned you, where God has called you, where God has put you. And you want to keep your eyes upon Jesus. Come on, don't let, don't let the devil get your hands filthy. Don't let the devil get you to roll back in the mud. Come on, somebody. Keep your eyes upon Jesus. Keep looking on the Jesus who is the Lord and the finisher of your faith. Come on, somebody. Rejoice when you are in the fire. Rejoice when you are in the waters. Rejoice when you are in the flood. Amen, somebody. And know that God has redeemed you and is with you to bring you through and to bring you out. He will deliver you. Before we be close, I want you to turn to that famous verse, Psalms 91. You know, when you get a topic in your house, you cut your Bible. Psalm 91. When you feel a little heaviness come in the house. When you get a nightmare, you wake up and your heart beating fast and you can't sleep. Amen. Something gives you a choke. And the night, come on somebody. Come on, when you know it's something that's normal. 
Psalm 91. Let's understand what, what it means a little bit. The Bible says, as you read from verses 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of the mind. Who is he that dwelleth? He that is keeping the word of God. You cannot quote the scripture if you are not keeping the word of God. Come on, somebody. If God has called you, you have not answered your call, you cannot quote this verse. The devil wants you on now and it's too slow. <laughs> the covenant is can only be enforced when the flesh begins to die. You can aim at somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on. You are not in the secret place of the most high just because you pray. Or because you fast. The most important thing is the keeping of the word of God. Amen. When you read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, the Bible says for the letter kill it, but it is the spirit of God that gives it life. Written not with ink or in tablets of stone. But written by the spirit of God in the fleshly tables of our heart. The Bible said that we made able ministers of the New Testament by the Spirit. Amen. So when you when you pray and you say, keep that planet in the secret place of the most high, you shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. You've got to consider your ways first. Come on, somebody. When you consider your ways, you will know you cannot quote this unless you are keeping your word. When you are keeping your word, you are built to act of safety. And your act of safety is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. And when you're not in your heart of safety, when you're dwelling in the secret place of the most high, many people think that faith is just, but well, I believe in Jesus Christ and I've been baptized. Amen, somebody. And that's your faith and that's it. Come on, somebody. And I go to church. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. But every time they turn, they're whispering about somebody. They're talking about somebody. They're cussing the husband. They're amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. They're the husband. I want to be the wife. Come on, somebody. Come on. I'm speaking to somebody. Yeah, they put in play. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. The friends and family put in the punch in water. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. You think again in the secret place of the Most High? It's easy. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There's a reason why the devil keeps getting to you. There's a reason why he keeps tormenting you. There's a reason why he keeps attacking you. The Bible says resist the devil and he shall flee. You don't have, have power to resist him. To resist means to put up in battle against him. Jesus said, Behold, I have given you power over all the powers of the devil and nothing in the least shall harm you. Amen, somebody. And whatsoever you bind on the earth shall be bound in the heaven. And whatsoever you loose from the earth shall be loosed in the heavens. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the mighty. So, Amen. So, the person who is dwelling in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that person will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. 
and surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. What is your shield and your buckler? His truth. Tell your neighbor, say, don't be afraid. Say, hey, are you living a lie or are you living the truth? Are you religious or do you have the power? For the Bible said, I bear them because they have a form of godliness and have denied the true power thereof from such stone away. Come on. From such. Come on. The Bible said that the truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. What is your shield? Come on, somebody. What buckles you and keep you grounded and safe? Truth. Truth. The Bible said God is nigh to them that are of a broken heart. A broken heart means one of one who have recognized their sins and the errors of their ways and have repented for he resists the proud and give grace and that are humble. Somebody. And I sing shit. Come on, somebody. And they what? It means they have no other motive, but they recognize God that He is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other but Him. And I cannot come to anything but Him. And my life is in Him. And my strength is in Him. And my peace is in Him. And my confidence is in Him. Anything that I want. Come on, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield. His truth shall be thy shield. I want you to understand that the sins you commit give Satan legal rights to enter your life. The blood is not a force where there is the continuous of sin. The Bible said, how long shall we continue to abide in sin that grace is above? God forbid. The Bible said, Jesus Christ died for us once. Come on, somebody. His blood was shed once. We receive a clean slate once. So the blood of Jesus don't give me a clean slate every time they come and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I have sinned and I know I know I'm going to do it next week and forgive me for next week too. <laughs> you see, God knows what is in the heart of man. He said many are the plans that are in the heart of the man that is the counsel of God that shall be today. Do not live your Christian life by looking at others. This is my advice. Tell you the message, you want to live your Christian life by looking at others, by listening to others. Live your Christian life by looking unto Jesus. Many of us backslide because we hear somebody say something about us. Many of us backslide because what we expect others to live and to do, they did not. The relationship with God is not with man. It's with God. And it's where God has sent you when He has placed you. Come on. And He said, when those that have the truth have the shield and the buckler. And when you are living the truth, the Bible said, and thou shalt not be afraid. For the terror by night. Many of us are afraid of the terror because we know we are not living the truth. When you are not living the truth, you are afraid. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, 
but uh, power. What is God giving you? The name is your power. She can give and see God has given you power. Power. Over all the powers of the devil. Power over fear. Power over anxiety. Power over depression. Power over sickness. Power over witchcraft. Power over sorcery. Power over necromancy. Power over any soothsayer. You shall not be afraid. Do you know your neighbor doing witchcraft? Come on, what are you afraid? What are you afraid about? When you have the truth, you shall not be afraid. When you are walking in the truth, you shall not be afraid. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And he that abided in the light will not stumble. And the only time you're going to stumble is when you walk out of the light. And thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Come on, there's a terror that comes by night. There's certain demon spirits that are active in the night. There are certain witches and warlocks and sorcerers that are active in the night. And the Bible calls them the terror by night. Not the arrow that flies by day, there is an arrow that also comes by day, there is satanic arrows that can come by the day, not just in the night. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No for the pestilence that are walking in darkness. There is pestilence that is walking in darkness. When you hear darkness, it means you can't what? You cannot see. So there are pestilence, sickness, disease, afflictions, demon spirits hiding in places of darkness, spiritual realms of darkness that, that you as a believer cannot see. Amen. It was not shown unto you. The Bible said it is in darkness. Note that you are still dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, but there are pestilence walking in darkness. They are walking after you. You cannot see them, but they are waiting for you to sleep. They are waiting for you to walk on the will of God. They are waiting for you, amen, somebody, to walk out of the light. To walk out of God's truth. Am I speaking to someone? Yeah. Not for the pestilence that are walking in darkness. Not for the destruction that wasted at noon day. Come on, someone. Yeah. So if you think that they are going to hear power in the night, they are going to get it. Yeah. And the Bible said there is destruction that wasted at noon day. Accidents will happen on the road. Checking your life, your home, your family. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. The Bible said the destruction that wasted at noon day. Come on, somebody. So, David is writing by the power of God and showing you also what Satan is capable of doing for those who are not in the secret place. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody, they, they, they get something, they, they get something of yours, they get a lock of your head, they came to the cemetery, you say, I want this person dead. You think they have time to call the prophet? You think they have time to read by the church? Your duty is to dwell in the secret place of the most high. There are people that God has given many chances until there was no one left for them. I prayed for many and there was no hope for them. After God has given them many chances. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. There are people that want for ministering and preaching and being a witness for Christ. And they, and they have fallen away from that and still think that they are in the same place in the spirit and still think they are doing what God has called them to do. 
because you have comforted yourself with your own lies and deception. Am I speaking to somebody? The truth is like buckle and like shield. No for the pestilence that walk in the darkness, no for the destruction and wasting that means. A thousand that fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come. Amen. It shall not what? Amen. It shall not come what? Amen. It shall not come. Amen. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge. Who is your refuge? Who is your refuge? Who is your refuge? The Lord. The Lord. Amen, somebody. Even the most high. Thy habitation. The word habitation means thy house, thy home, thy very place. Paul said, walk in the spirit. And if you walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. You have made the Lord your what? You are living in Him. You are dwelling in Him. You are breathing in Him. He is your refuge. He is your strength. He is your shield. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Go with Him, Jesus. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Because thou hast made the Lord, tell us and make God your happy teacher. Your dwelling place. Your dwelling place. Begin to live in Him, breathe in Him. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. Get a thirsting after Him. Get a hunger after Him. Get a love for Him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He said, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way. He will give what? That the angels. He will give what? The angels charge. People, they might put gone for you and it can't go off. They try to chop you right in front and, 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 and it can't come at you. Amen. 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 Yeah. All that they're planning for you, they might plan to rob you and it can't go. For he shall give his angels charge over you. Amen, someone. Amen. Amen, someone. Amen. 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 To keep thee in all thy ways. And they shall bear thee up in their hands. And the only time they want to stop bearing you up, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Let's just stumble on the truth. We live in a time where we are stumbling on the truth. We are offended by the truth. We are not convicted. We are offended. We take it personally. We say people throw in stones for me. We say people try to condemn me. We say all oh, instead of we begin to check yourself and we better make our life right with God. And we take God more than the Amen as conviction and set our lives right before God. We are cut up. But it is the truth that will bring you to my life. It is the truth that will cause you to grow. It is the truth that will set you free. It is the truth that will save your soul. No lie can do that. The Bible said we are the salt of the earth. It did not say we are the sugar of the earth. We cannot sugarcoat the gospel. Amen. We sugarcoat it, we are compromising. Amen. If you read exactly what it says, 
and preach exactly what they say, who hear will hear what the Spirit is saying. Who doesn't want to hear what the Spirit is saying will heed to themselves, teachers having itching ears. Am I speaking to someone? Many of us cannot keep our healing, cannot keep our deliverance, cannot keep our testimony. Come on, someone. Amen. Didn't you ever say it is your job? Yeah. To pray for people who are healed, who have shared their testimony. It is the people's job who testify to keep what God has given to them. Jesus commanded them, when he healed them, he said, go and sin no more. When he cast out the devils, he said, it do not it will remain empty. These demon spirits will gather seven spirits more wicked than themselves and come back in you. You see, we want deliverance and we don't want to live for the healer. We want the healing, amen, somebody. And we do not want the healer. We want the blessings, but we do not want the one who blesses us. And I, maybe you don't understand what it means to want it. To want it means to keep everything that you read in here. Yeah. To live out everything that you read in here. Yeah. To keep looking in the perfect law of liberty, which the Bible says as a glass, where you will behold yourself. Yeah. The Bible said you're going to see yourself. Yeah. You will not see other people. Amen. Many people when they read the Bible, I've seen a, a sister here. I've seen a brother here. I've seen a leader here. I've seen somebody I know in the church here. And why can't see yourself inside here? You do not today. That's because of self-righteousness. Right. The Bible, when you read, is not meant to show you what others. God wants to show you yourself. Right. But many of us, when you read, you only see, lead up for the prophet. Lead up for the apostle. Let God show you about other people. You, when you read, see yourself. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Oh, I tell you, when you pick up your Bible to read, <laughs> look for yourself in a yeah. I see my wife, they're my wife. <laughs> That's my husband. You see, he, 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 he has that spirit. <laughs> but remember, you choose that spirit. So you have to have something from me that day. Nothing happened in this church, I'm going to do a commentary on this, Danisa, or a report. 
Because I not focus on people business in churches. I focus on hearing from God and bring our world. But it have people that know one another business in this church here. Like I do I don't know what book you're reading. <laughs> I don't know where they find time to know, and I don't know, and I don't be counseling them, and I don't know. Amen. Begin to read this and see yourself. Don't see nobody else but yourself. Don't hear nobody else but the voice of Christ. Don't be led by nobody else but by the Spirit of God. The only voice you need to know is the voice of God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? You cannot claim what you are not living. You cannot claim. That's why the devil is penetrating your life. He's penetrating your heart. You can't function in ministry. You can't function in the spirit. You can't function in your daily life. You are frustrated and bound. Why? Because your focus is wrong. You're letting the devil amplify your problems. And God has not been amplified in your life. He said, if I will be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Begin to lift up Jesus in your life. Come on, somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Look, just last time we, we talked about how, how Muslims will try to enforce their belief on you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. On our views, a, a, a Muslim post up and say, Jesus was a great prophet. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Might be there, somebody. Yeah. He's looking at a Christian life. Amen. They go live on Facebook and he looking at a Christian program. And he's writing on that. And then, Jesus is not God, he's just a prophet. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. How much how much how much Christians go and watch a Muslim program and say, Allah is not God? Amen. How much believers in order to do that? You in there, you're afraid you must go to God my house. Yeah. <laughs> Look how bold I'm in. You're watching a Christian program. Yeah. And said, Jesus is not God, he's a, a lovely prophet. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Every Muslim ought to know that I believe in Jesus as the Son of God, as God in the flesh. And I can change my belief. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. And the God asked you with me about it. I fully persuade it. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, Satan desire Satan. to sit you like me. But Jesus is praying for you that your faith will not, it will not save you. Your faith is the entirety of God's word. Your faith should not be compromised. Amen. God's word should not be compromised Amen. in your life. Amen. What God has called you to do, you must accomplish it. Amen. That which is not of faith is sin. No, you can enter the kingdom of God without answering your call, but you would enter with great tribulation, with great sorrow, with great failures in your life. The Bible says he will save some with fear and he will save some by the skin of your teeth. 
So you have to know what class of believer you want to be. Amen. If you want to enter the kingdom of God by the skin of your teeth, yes. and by fear, that is you. Amen. But I want to enter the kingdom of God with great rejoicing, Amen. with great victory, Amen. with great boasting in my God. Amen. With Amen. Talking about all. God has done. And when I bump some Peter and Paul and Dave up there, I can tell them, I have fought the fight that we started. And I have kept the faith. And I didn't give up. And I didn't compromise. My God has left me. But I, amen, but that didn't stop me. My sister left me. But that didn't stop me. They cost me blue, white, and black. They bad talking in the east, west, north, and south. But that didn't stop me. I still press the was the mark of the highest calling. And is it Christ? My wife left, but that didn't stop me. My husband left, but that didn't stop me. Come on, somebody. My boss stood against me, but that didn't stop me. There were days I didn't have, but that didn't stop me. There were days that I wrestled with the peace of Ephesus, but that And I didn't enter because I was afraid to go to hell. I entered with crumbs of righteousness, crumbs of life. Come on, somebody. With a record of thousands of souls being saved, thousands of deliverance, thousands of battles being won. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I have the spiritual marks to prove it. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Where Satan tried to wound me, where he tried to stop me, where he thought he had me. Come on, somebody. Amen. But on the third day, I rose again. Come on, somebody. And because Jesus overcome, I shall overcome all souls. It's important how you enter the kingdom as well. Amen. Come on. Turn to the neighbors, I don't want to enter in fear. Oh, by the skin of my teeth. I want to enter the crowns of life. Crumbs of righteousness. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Your name, tell us your name. Look in the heavenly places. Demons know your rank. You know your place in the spirit realm. Come on, we don't understand this. Demon spirits, they know your rank. They know your place in the spirit realm. The Bible says that your name is written in heaven. When you aim at somebody, come on somebody. They know what type of relationship you have with God. They know who they can defeat, who they can throw up, who they can destroy. Amen. Stand to your feet tonight.